Um, I do web design occasionally on the side, but I don't actually know a lot about how computers work. I've never like made a computer or anything, so they had a workshop here where it, um, they showed you like how you go about putting together a computer. It's just South working and companies, they, uh, they get their computer system or all their computers are like renewed every two to three years. So when that happens, they just throw away all the other ones. But what they do is that they kind of, you know, might take parts from two or three computers to build one super awesome computer with some super powers in there somewhere. So Hector, I hear there's some good news. What's the good news? I just successfully started the CDR, which you guys saw me doing earlier, into that computer with the help of Jeff, and uh, it's all up and running now. So now we have a media making place. Are you gonna install? There's our doors and Audacity are kind of like Audacity is a beginning, like very easy beginning audio recording program. Our doors is a little more like next step, um, and then Blender and Kino, Kino being like the simpler video editing program, and Blender being the more advanced one. Um, for programs that you can use that work just as well as like iMovie or like any of that crap um, and don't cost you a dime and so you can go straight to working and maybe spend some money on lights or like a nicer camera or some extra memory or like something like that yeah but what is always what, what I think is important about open source software is not just that it's free in cost although that's awesome and not just that it's oftentimes not for profit uh, but I think the biggest thing is that in many cases it's a collaborative effort uh, where people are, individual skills are, are shared with others to make new and interesting things. Um.